So could you explain a little bit more about krill oil? Uh, yes, krill oil is the latest thing as far as uh, healthy sources of EPA mm -hmm. and DHA. And the primary difference between krill oil and uh, fish oil, if you will, mm -hmm. is that krill oil, the omega-3s, EPA and DHA, are in the form of phospholipids. And phospholipids are? Things that your body can absorb without change, and it can go right into the cells of your body without having to go through your liver, without being modified in any sort of way. Including your brain cells? Including your brain cells. Which would be good. Which it? is a very good thing. <laughs> but also, uh, it's, there are clinical studies, and these are published clinical studies, which actually show that there's a profound effect on serum cholesterol mm -hmm. lowering, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, serum triglycerides lowering, uh, HDL going up, LDL going down, and uh, other companies are now doing those, uh, repeating some of those studies with their own mm -hmm. forms of uh, krill oil. And I think we're going to be seeing some really exciting science uh, going forward. And I might also add mm -hmm. that the uh, issue we have with overfishing with, you know. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, uh, that's not as critical with uh, krill because only 0.02% of the krill biomass is harvested every year. Mm -hmm. Krill is at the bottom of the food chain, which means it eats mostly phytoplankton, you know, mm -hmm. the algae and stuff in the water. They also eat uh, the rest leftovers from the other fish when the okay. other fish die. Uh, it's uh, unpolluted uh, material, and the amount that's harvested is extremely low, and it's uh, very controlled by the authorities. Uh, about 60% uh, of the krill in the ocean is eaten by seals hmm. and not whales. If krill go away, the whales aren't all going to die. Okay. And, uh, and we think that that's a fairly environmentally sustainable uh, situation. It sounds like it. Yeah. Thank you very much.